Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on BGP. Let's start our part 8. And last, we are going to go to number 8. Okay, so as usual. So first we have to declare the 500 as my AS. Then I'm going to do a peer with the 68. Dot one dot one dot eight. My AS number here will be four hundred. Okay. All right. So this will be sorry. That is the wrong thing because it's supposed to number six. Okay. My mistake here. So I have to undo the peer of uh, sixty-eight dot one dot one dot eight. Okay. All right, and number six here on the router six. So when I look into my BGP, I still have not configured the um, 68 yet. All right, as you can see from here. Okay, so I only have two pairing. So here and here. So I have not configured between six and eight. Let's do a 68.1.1.8. The AS number here is 500. Okay, so uh, we just have uh, completed both the uh, IBGP and EBGP. So waiting for the last peering to be up. Then we should have completed the requirement to do the peering. Uh, next, we are going to have the uh, requirement to advertise the network 10. So since we are in the uh, router number 8 here, Okay, so let's do a display BGP peer. All right, so you can see that it's establishing. And in my interface gig 00, all right, as you can see that I have a network of a 1002. So I have to advertise this network. Okay, so for you to advertise this network is very simple. Let me go back to the BGP of 500. I just declare that this is a network of 10. Dot zero, dot two, dot zero. Okay. Now, uh, when you do a network command, you have to be very careful about your subnet mask. The length of your subnet mask might, must be accurate. So for my case over here, as you can see that the IP address for this guy, okay, is 24. Okay, let me uh, show you here. All right, so we have a 1002.1 slash 24. So when you declare your network, you configure your network, you have to be 24. Okay, so since I already advertised my network on router six, if I go in and you use this command called display BGP route, okay, you should able to receive it. Okay, it's that simple. So router 8 already advertised the network, so we have to advertise number 7. So if you look into the 7 over here, router 7. So I have a network number 1001 over there, so I'm going to use a network 1001024. Okay. Alright, so since I advertise over here, and uh, router 8 will receive 1001. So let's do a display BGP route. Okay, there you go. So you can see that 1002 is myself. Okay, there you go. That's my I here. And 1001 does belong to AS400. Okay, so if I go to router number 6, I do a display BGP peering. As you can see that I have 1 and 2. And uh, 1001 is belong to its own uh, AS. So if I go to router number four, display BGP route, you should receive both. Okay, there you have it, 1001 and 1002. Now since there is no other 10 network over here except for router one, so I'm going to go to router one here to do the advertisement. So let me go back into the AS100 and specify the network of 10.0.0.0. Okay, before that, let me show you that the IP address. So we have a 10.0.0.1 here. So we just 
specified in our network okay then we do a display PGP route now you have it okay 1000 okay now you notice that the 1001 and 1002 uh, we do receive the route but you notice that it's not the best okay and it's neither that is valid because in this case my next hop here is 24 and where is 24? 24 is belong to here okay and the other one is 34 34 is belong to here okay so we are going to look into how to solve it uh, later part here so basically this is the first basic requirement and uh, we are going to move on to the next requirement okay so you can see that uh, router 2 router 3 we have no such issue okay so you can see that this is on the router 2 okay so we can actually have a valid route because the route of uh, 24 from the router 2 perspective is reachable all right 34 I'm not able to reach all right and uh, I'm still able to reach the uh, 24 here okay so on the router one we have a bit of issue because none of this is available because the network 24 and 34 is not advertised in OSBF neither than in BGP so one way for us to solve this issue we have to use a command called next hop local so let's have a look on how to solve this issue so remember that we have invalid okay so on the router 2 all right, so you can see that I have a network number one and network number three. That's my neighbor. So let me go back into the uh, BGP of 100. Okay, so I'm going to specify that neighbor one. All right, if you want to go to outside your network, and since this network 24 is not being advertised in OSPF, so I'm going to advertise myself as your next hop. Okay, I'm going to use the next hop local okay so once I specify this as my next hop local if I go back to router number one let me do a display PGP route all right so you just wait for a while for this to be propagated so on the router number two I also have to specify to neighbor number three because uh, both router number one and router number three uh, doesn't know about this uh, network number 24 okay the interface 24 is unknown to both router 1 and router 3 so I'm going to specify to number 3 that my next hop is local okay so let me go back to router number 1 and just to verify there you go as you can see that now it's become valid and it's become best compared to earlier on you can see that it's 24 so which is unknown so you can see that number 24 become 2 but I still have a problem on 34 so now I have to go to router number 3 and we are going to do the same thing so BGP 100 pair with 1 I'm going to say next hop local and pair with number 2 is a next hop local okay so once this information has been propagated if I go to router number one I should have um, the valid hop so just wait for a while okay all right so you can see that now it's already uh, changed to 3.3 .3. okay and it's become valid all right, you can see that all with the uh, asterisk over here. That is the valid, okay? Um, so since on the two and three, we have done it. So the next thing here is between six and seven. So on the six and seven, you also will see it. So on the number seven, router number seven, when I do a display BGP route, as you can see that I have here uh, 46 okay as well as the 68 is unknown so 46 and 68 is unknown same go for the router number 6 because the 47 is unknown so if I go here all right 
and there you go so let's just solve this issue so this is in the AS400 so I'm going to mention that router number 7 you can use me next hub local and we go to router number 7 BGP400 I'm going to tell the uh, advertise to number 6 that I am your next hop okay so once this information is propagated so we will have a good next hop now that is not enough alright because if let's say on the router 2 I want to go to this network or this network or this network okay I will have uh, no information to go there now there are static route that is required by the uh, question so on the router number two okay so what I need to do is I'm going to specify route uh, static anything other than my network I'm going to specify to go into 24.1.1.4 okay so let's see display IP route protocol static okay in fact just now has configured that already then uh, on router 3 I also need to do the same thing okay IP route static default route and I'm going to point to 34.1.1.4 okay so I have this route to go out so same thing go for in the uh, router number 7 okay so for the uh, number seven I may not know how to go here alright so if I want to go into this particular network so where should I go to I can actually go to router number six or I can go into uh, number six they have two interfaces over here okay so if I go to router number seven here okay so I have the BGP there's the IBGP there's the eBGP alright so I have configured the uh, default route pointing to the 47.1.1.4 alright so this will be my uh, interface for me to go out from my network okay so now uh, if let's say I go to router number one display IP route protocol BGP I have my BGP protocol. Let's go into 1.1. Okay, so it gets stuck here. And see what will happen to this part. Did I do number 6 here? Display IP route protocol static. Yep, so that's the problem here. So I need to specify on the router number 6 IP route static anything that I do not know I'm going to point back into 46.1.1.4 okay so I'm going to redo this one more time okay so we have some issue here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a trace to see where's the problem so the first hop is correct so it's go up to the 12.1.1.2 uh, the problem is on the router 4 alright so once you go into router 4 it doesn't know how to go back okay so that is the problem here so when we go into the router 4 here let me do a display IP routing table alright so you can see that I only have a 10 network but the uh, router 1 will not able to uh, router 1 were able to go to router 4 but router 4 doesn't know how to go back to router 1 this particular interface is unknown to router 4 okay so if I go back to the other way around it's also unknown so what should I do then now one way for you to do that is to advertise this particular network which is this uh, network number 12 into the BGP all right or we are going to specify the uh, uh, 
network command all right or using the static route or we also can use the import route as well so let me go back into router 2 all right this is not a requirement by the question but i just want to show you how you can make sure that router 4 able to go back to router 1 so on the router 2 i'm going to go back into the bgp 100 i'm going to import my ospf into bgp okay same go for the router number three bgp 100 i'm going to import my ospf1 into bgp so if i go to router 4 now all right i should able to see number 12 and 13 okay there you go number 12 and 13 so i'm going to redo one more time on my trace as you can see that now it passed through now this is not a requirement by the question as i mentioned but um, for you to see whether the uh, route can pass through you need to make sure that the network is being advertised some or rather to the bgp because the router 4 is just a pure bgp router so if i'm going to do a trace to 10.0.2.1 so 1.1 .1 is belong to router 7 2.1 is belong to router 8 so as you can see that after we do the uh, import, uh, it just work. Okay. Now let's go into the router five and see whether we can go to the uh, network of ten zero zero one. Okay. So you can see that we have a bit of issue again. Now why that is the case? Now the reason is because that on router five, when you try to go into ten zero zero one, uh, you're able to see that in your BGP. Okay. So we have a 10.0.0 network. The problem over here is we are not able to see beyond it. All right. So this guy cannot see this network. Okay. So uh, that is where you have a problem. So for us to solve this issue, we have to go to number four, router four. In router four, we have to import the route on the data interface. So once I import the route on the data interface into the BGP, router one will have all this network, okay? And uh, router five should able to ping to this network, 10.0.0 network. So let me do an import route direct, uh, go back to router five, and uh, let me do a ping. And now you can see that it's pingable. So earlier on, uh, I wasn't able to ping, okay? So now I have all this particular network. In router 5, display BGP route. Okay, so you can see that I have all this particular route here. So these are all the route, which is the 24, 34. Okay, so we have a 24, 34. Then we have a 46, okay, and a 47. So you can see that now it's all available for router 5. And now router 5 is freely able to ping. Okay, so let's try to ping to 2.1. 2.1 is belong to this interface. Okay, so we have in the router 5. And uh, you can see that I'm able to ping. Can I do a ping to 10.0.1.1? 1.1 dot one is belong to router 7. Okay, so you can see that router 5 is freely able to ping everywhere. Okay, so if let's say I go to the uh, router number 7. Okay, just to confirm that I'm able to ping to everywhere. Okay, that's good. And I ping to 2.1. That is not good. Okay, why that is the case? It's because that when router 7 try to ping here, my first hop is on router 6, which is good. But the other hop, which is this network, which is on the 68, is not available. Okay. So just now you already see that on the... Uh, let me go back into my router 2. Uh, you already see how I actually do the import the route on the OSPF. Okay, import this route into OSPF, which is importing the route into the... Uh, OSP, uh, from the OSPF into the BGP. Okay, 
just now you see that on the router 4 I import the direct interface okay to the BGP and now I'm going to show you another method here if let's say I'm going to advertise this route okay so let's go to the BGP on 400 I'm going to advertise the network of uh, 68 okay which is this network 68 dot one dot one dot zero with the uh, sum at 24 so router 6 should be able to advertise to the rest of the network I'll go back into router 7 okay so we still have a timeout here so just to make sure that router 7 do receive the route okay display pgp route this is a 68 that's correct so i have a 68 route so let me check on the router 8 as well okay so i have all this valid route okay let me try to ping to 10.0.0.1 okay that's good let me try to ping to 10.0.1.1 this is good let me go back to router 7 all right so just now I try to ping to 10.02.1 I still having a timeout okay so let's go into the troubleshooting on the, why this is the case so the first thing here is to do a trace 10.0.2.1 so it went to the 60, 76 okay which is this particular router and uh, it actually tried to go here now the problem over here is that I'm able to go here but the router 8 doesn't able to see me at all okay so because this network which is belong to 67 and 76 is unknown to router 8 so what can we do okay let me stop this here I'm going to go to the router 6 to make sure that the router 8 do receive the 67 or 76 when we look into the display IP routing table alright so you can see that I do not have a 67 or 76 that is the problem okay there's none of this right and the router number 8 over here When I look into the static, it also doesn't have any static. So there are two ways for you to do that. Either that the router 8 point the router 6 as a default gateway, or we are going to uh, advertise this to the router 8 as a BGP. So it will be easier for us to just do a display, sorry, IP route static 0, and I'm going to point to 68. Dot one dot one dot six. Okay, and I go to seven, and straight away I can ping. Okay, so with that, um, we have just complete the first session, and we also able to ping end to end. Just to recap over here, on the uh, router one, what we did here is we did the OSPF. Okay. Then we did the uh, BGP. All right, so that is on router one. On router two, uh, as you can see that we did the peering and uh, we also did the OSPF. So we have uh, IBGP and eBGP. And for us to able to ping end to end, we import the OSPF to the uh, BGP so that the rest of the network do understand about the 12 network and 13 network. In router four, uh, what we did here is uh, this is all BGP eBGP okay so we have all the eBGP peering and what we did earlier on is that we use the import route direct okay number six and seven is very similar to number two so as you can see that this one is the peering and uh, I do advertise this particular network into the BGP so that the rest of them able to go to router number 8 and uh, on 
the router number 6, 7, we also do the static route and include the router number 8 as well. Okay, so that is our first exercise. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.